Fellas, I play quite a bit of games, and as somebody who's played a lot of games and had a lot of consoles over time, I gotta get new controllers. Especially when you got a lot of friends over and you're just tired of switching controllers and taking turns. The best alternative I've found over time is third party controllers. If I'm gonna be honest, I love third party controllers. And this might be kind of controversial considering a lot of people who are really into games consider controllers to be a crucial part of the whole experience and prefer like a really good controller as opposed to like a shitty one they found off of Target. But as a casual gamer and someone who generally sucks at games, I don't really give a shit about how the controller feels. I kind of just adapt to whatever controller I get my hands on. Not to mention the first thing that really comes to mind is price. I work a part-time job at minimum wage and work maybe about 8 hours a week if I'm lucky. So money for me is kind of tight. So if and when I need a new controller, price usually isn't that big of a deal when I'm looking for third party controllers. Typically, they're about 20 to 30 bucks at the cheapest, maybe 50 at the most. While regular price controllers can go up to $100. At that point, I'd probably just use that $100 to buy like one release title that I'd really want or a bunch of indie games that cost like 10 bucks each. But spending $100 on a controller seems like kind of a waste of money to me, considering I'm probably not going to use it that much and I'm really only going to use it when I have friends over. With all the money that you'd have, you're more likely to buy two third party controllers than one regular price controller. So if you care more about quantity over quality, then it's probably the best option for you. The next big thing aside from price for me would have to be the design and aesthetic of third party controllers. These things look fucking sick dude, like look at this shit bro, like look at this design bro, what the fuck? I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of a sucker for design. I mean, someone could come in with like a $200 controller that can feel like the greatest thing on earth when you're playing it, and I can just come in with some shitty $20 controller I found off of Amazon but has like a cool design on it. I'll be like, yeah, your controller can do quite a bit, but does it have this cool ass design? I think not! Not to mention that some third party controllers do have like a button or some other feature that allows you to like spam one of your controls, so if you feel like dicking around in games, it's a pretty fun feature to have. Lastly, I'd have to mention compatibility. A lot of third party controllers do have USB compatibility, which means you can use them on more than one console, which makes it a lot better considering you don't just need to buy it for one console and use it on that one console only. You'll likely be able to use it on other consoles and PC, and even if that doesn't work, there are USB adapters which you can use that will make your controller a lot more compatible with like pretty much everything. In conclusion, third party controllers are pretty great. Whether you need an extra controller for that one friend who always has to wait their turn, or you just need an extra controller to mess around with, then third party controllers are probably worth a buy. Plus they're a good alternative for regular controllers and have a lot of good uses. So consider buying one. The final thing I'd want to mention is that you should probably do your research. As someone who's bought about 6 third party controllers throughout my life, I've made some good purchases and some bad ones. The good ones were pretty standard controllers and they fit like the general price range so you know they weren't too cheap or too expensive and they generally had good reviews so they were probably a good buy and after buying them and playing them they were pretty good. I've only really had one bad purchase in my life and it's probably my fault because I saw two Wii remotes that came with two sleeves and two nunchucks for $30 which sounded way too good to be true. And it was because the company that I bought it from was the sketchy ass company that had like five reviews and I thought, okay, I mean, it's pretty cheap, but the Wii remotes I got were fucking awful. Right off the bat, I noticed that there was a problem with the rumble feature between the two remotes. One of them had no rumble feature to it, and the other one felt like you had an 8.0 magnitude earthquake in your freaking hand. Not to mention these Wii remotes felt like extra lightweight, probably because of the cheap plastic it was made from, and it sounded like there were grains of sand inside the Wii remote every time I shook it, probably because the Wii remote wasn't really intact and some of the parts were probably loose and just being shook. I don't really know. I'm not really an expert when it comes to Wii remotes, or any controllers for that matter. I just saw a cheap ass deal and I thought, holy shit, I'm getting a bargain, but what I really got was a piece of crap set of Wii remotes, and the only thing I really got that was worth the $30 were the sleeves and the nunchucks. The last time I used the remotes, I found the battery holder at the back of the Wii remote to be all rusted and corroded, so chances are they might just be ruined permanently. So yeah, that's kinda it, really. In conclusion for real this time, consider buying third party remotes, but do your research. If you see a deal on like Amazon or something that's too good to be true because it has barely any reviews and it's way too cheap and the company you're buying it from has never been heard by anybody, 
then the deal is probably way too good to be true. But always remember, one bad purchase won't prevent you from finding that perfect third party remote.